Hi friends my name is Aditya Villar and you are watching Webacoder so today i am going to teach you some of the common css properties that might be useful for you if you are starting to learn css before we get started make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you will never miss my new video if you want to know how you can write a css file you can click on the right top corner so you can see my recently uploaded video on how to write a css file so now what we going to do is i will create a div tag and apply the class name main to it and i will style that div tag using common css properties so right now i am writing a div tag class main closing the div tag in the div tag i am going to write a paragraph that this is inside the div tag so before styling this tag let's see what it looks like you can see that only the text is shown to style the div tag i will use the class selector which is preceded by a dot and the class name in that first property is the background color this property is useful when you want to set a background color of any element so right now i am setting the background color to red when i save this you will see that the background color before the text is red now i am setting the text color uh, color property is usually used to set the color of the text i am setting it to white you can see the text is written in white color after that another most common css properties are height and width of your element height property specifies the height of your element while the width property specifies width of your element i am setting both width and height to 200 pixels so when i save this you will see that the element size is increased by 200 pixel in height and 200 pixel in width so the next property is margin margin specifies the distance between two elements i am specifying the margin to 100 pixels this will specify the margin from all four directions of an element from top bottom left and right here you can see that you can specify margin of each side specifically by using margin dash any attribute that you want like left top bottom or right so right now i specify left so only the mar only the margin is applied to the left side now if i specify the margin to the top 300 pixels then only the top side margin will get affected by 300 pixel you can do the same with all sides by using the attribute margin dash right margin dash bottom after margin the next property is padding padding specifies the distance between the content of an element with the border of the element so if right now you can see the content this is inside the div tag paragraph has a distance from the border of the div element let me show you so whatever inside the blue color box is actual content and whatever outside it inside the red box is the padding we applied to it the padding is right now shown by dark brown color you can apply padding in the same way as you can apply the margin with all four direction so if i specify padding right it will only apply padding to the right of the content and not anywhere else again if i show you padding to top by 100 pixels so you can see only the padding is increased from top 
not anywhere else after padding you can also want to apply border to your element for that you need to use the border property it takes three parameters the thickness of the border the type of the border and the color of the border so you can see that the green colored border is appeared on the box there are various types of style for border right now i specify solid you can specify dotted double dotted so you can see the changes so this is the thickness this is the style you want to apply and this is the color you want to give to your border similar to the margin and padding you can also specify border of each side by using the right left top and bottom attributes so this is i'm specifying border right i'm specifying 5 pixel thickness type is solid and the color is black here you can see that so if you want rounded edges to your box which looks very attractive then you can use the border radius property and give the value in pixels so right now i'm giving 20 pixels you can see that the borders are slightly curved at the edges so that's it for this video guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon to see such type of videos thanks for watching